When you cut right into a pepper, those seeds go everywhere and they can be super annoying. So here's a way how to cut it and slice it without getting seeds everywhere. Turn that pepper over and then take a look at the lines on the outside of the pepper. I'm gonna run the knife down each side of those lines and just push that pepper away. Look at that, beautiful. Turn it and slice down the next line on the pepper. Keep doing this all the way around. It gets a little tricky when you get to that last side, but what you should end up with is all the seeds held in one nice little container. We love that. So there, that's done. Now all you have to do is slice the pepper. I put the skin side down and then run through that with a sharp knife. The sharp knife's gonna make your life much, much easier. Line the slices up and run through there to make nice little dice. You'll see all kinds of pepper colors in the grocery store. Red peppers are actually the same as green peppers. They've just been left on the vine to ripen for longer. And then you'll also see yellow and orange peppers. These are actually a sweeter variety of pepper and not the same as the red or green at all. When you're looking to buy a pepper in the grocery store, look for a skin that is unblemished and unwrinkled. And then when you're storing them, store them in a plastic bag in the refrigerator. Most peppers last four to five days. The green ones you can probably push to a week.